So if I could get a black wife to help me out, please. Hello, brilliant, beautiful black women, goddess born. Um, we need to talk about this. Yeah, girl, we need to talk. We got to we got to talk. OK, because, you know, me, I'm into letting, you know, um, a different perspective and connecting some dots. OK, because, yeah, mm -hmm. that cross or demon. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. But I'm going to say this. We are going to do a little reading, too, because um, I might be a little bit hot already. And we know my therapist is trying to get me to, like, you know, chill sometimes when I need to. So, yeah, let's get into it. Um, let's go. All right, Black women, before I really get into this, let me um, clear clear our space and, you know, whatever okay so for those of you freaks who decided you wanted to show up over here and take the chance on whether i felt like playing with my food or not you know like making troll bisque or you know tenderizing allegedly and skinning trolls yeah um any of those things this is not a safe space for you get the fuck on okay and let me start this how i'm gonna end this Keep black women and black girls' name out your mother fucking mouth. You don't talk to us. You don't talk for us. You don't talk about us. You don't make no jokes, no plans, no plot, no fucking policies, no motherfucking procedures. You don't get to make laws about me, bitch. Okay? Now, I know that story about... about whoever y'all men to somebody being made by a warlord who who made them out of dirt and then made you out of their dead rib that's you okay it don't have nothing to do with black women and black girls indigenous women indigenous girls keep our fucking names out your mother fucking mouth now next I don't know what they do other places, black women, but what I'm trying to provide us with, what I have been trying to provide us with is a different option than what we were, um, let's say, programmed in the ways we were programmed to react and respond to bitches like what you just saw. I'm sorry, Legion, like what you just saw. Oh, we have to be, you know, graceful and forgiving of these things and understand they have biases and cute little words like Karen and some bitch named Becky girl. Oh, da 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 da. Hmm. That's not how it works over here. So I'm a different type of option. And if you feel like you can't take that either and you're a black woman who is anti-black woman, anti-black girl, go get the fuck on too. Get to get to step it. There's no space for the 25% of you who act in that way here, okay? So, as far as white women, Legion, Karens, whatever the fuck you calling these, these fucking crossroad demon ass bitches, okay? Um, oh, black men too, but that's just a, you know, that's just an added feature. Um, they weren't even in this one, okay? Uh, There'll be no fucking forgiveness here. There'll be none. There'll be no redemption. Um, let's see. Grace. <laughs> Denied. Access to black women, black girls, indigenous women, indigenous girls in any shape or form. My creativity, how we look, how we move, what we say, what we do, how we think. Denied, bitch. We don't owe you to like you, to care about you, none of that shit, okay? And I'm over here and I'm letting you know that bullshit for the last 405 years, that shit is over over here in the United States, okay? Um. Oh, yeah, specific to this, this hooker trying to be funny, prayer request tonight, bitch. Don't come over here asking for prayers. <laughs> Don't do that. No, you need to go on wherever the fuck 
uh, KKK crack of heaven is and talk to Jesus. Okay, I done told him about his dumbass friends. Um, the violence that you bring in any form, I don't care if it's emotional, I don't care if it's fucking physical, I don't give a damn if you think you're going to fiscally violate us, I don't give a fuck if you think you're going to do it by law and enforcement, I don't give a fuck if you think you're going to get physical, bitch, by just touching my skin, you assaulting ass, battering ass, bitch. I'm giving it back to you times 10,000, allegedly. And, oh, by the way, I don't hate y'all. I know I sound as if I do. Girl, I, how many times I got to tell everybody I done passed hate, oh, decades ago, girl. It's, I'm enraged. And I don't even, you. I'm not even about that with you, you bitches. You just opt to me. But I do watch you and I do study you. And I want you to know, I don't give any more fucks about you than you give a fuck about us and our children. I give way less. In fact, I give so little fucks about you. I'm like, we're the ghosts in your KKKKK lineage has, has been for hundreds, thousands, even years. I give less fucks about you than those dirty, kidnapping, graping, mutilating, despicable motherfuckers that came before you cared about us. Now, honey, that's I'm not giving a fuck. All right. Okay, so. Let's let's look at um, my girl first, okay? We'll get into Contrice really quick, but this is why I resist. And she says, um, white privilege is also a demonstration of how you cannot recognize and understand what you don't experience. Today, we find white people often demand for racism to be proven to them. They place a, an unreasonable burden on black people to explain it to them and then propose solutions also they can reject it. Um, and call it out as false and um, they continue to do this shit generation after fucking generation. It is mentally, it is emotionally and physically fucking exhausting. Stop talking to and about us, bitches. I'm sick of you, Legion. Okay. I got to calm down. I got to calm down. Okay. So within the context of racism and discrimination, white privilege enables a vicious cycle that permits white people to get away with language and actions that are atrociously inflammatory and derogatory consequently causing the potential irreparable damage of mistrust and inequality in our own uh, multicultural and multiracial society. Abuse of white privilege in the wrong hands incites racial hatred, leads to the death of black people, as you find in cases such as police brutality, and in our cases, black women, um, being murked in the healthcare system, being murked by police officers ourselves. <sighs> Y'all, abuse of white privilege in the wrong hands, like I said, it incites racial hatred, leads to the death of black people particularly black women and black girls. Um, and it causes unfair treatment and discrimination of black people. So in the workplace, in schools, and in communities, over here on social media, keep our names out your fucking mouth. You have no business talking about us. You've done enough damage. And we're done with that. 
behaviors have consequences.